back down the road you came on better get home cause the sun is retreating after a long day and that thin air it'll get to you after a while on october 28th I'm going to be performing a couple of my original songs with Nebula Ensemble. And this is kind of a big deal for me because I kind of started out in music wanting to be a singer-songwriter. And that wasn't a thing that I felt like I could really study in college. I felt like I needed to do something more serious with my life, so I sort of became a classical musician on the spot. <laughs> I've never really completely rejected the the pop music side of me, or um, as some would have it, like more of a folk music side of me. I just haven't been doing it because I've been too busy, and I'm really excited to get back to it, and really excited to share with you what I've been doing with Nebula Ensemble with these two songs. One is called Cadmon, and the other is called Consecrate. Cadmon is inspired by a story from Bede's Ecclesiastical History of the English People. And Cadmon was this guy who lived in the 700s in Northumbria. And he kind of had stage fright. Like it was a thing in those days to pass around a harp or a lute. Um, and everyone would sing a song like after, after the banquet kind of thing. And he wasn't into it. He was freaked out by that. And he would just sneak out the back door when it got to be uh, pass around the harp time. Um, so one night he had done that as usual, snuck out um, and gone to tend the animals because that was his job. And he fell asleep and a voice came to him and said, Cadmon, arise and sing to me. And Cadmon is like, you've got the wrong guy. I don't do that. Um, but the voice said, no, Cadmon, you have to get up and, and sing about creation. And so Cadmon gets up and on the spot makes up this song and starts singing it um, and just became this incredible improviser. And that story really speaks to me. I think it's kind of like every musician's dream is that you suddenly have this inspiration and this call to, to do something in particular and the obstacles just melt away. <laughs> song is called Consecrate and the inspiration for that one is pretty strange. I don't know if I should even tell this story but uh, as a freshman in college I was very 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 sleep deprived and that does strange things to your brain oddly enough. Um, I was standing there in mass one day they read the verse about how God looks into the heart um, instead of on the outward appearance and I suddenly had this very vivid image come to my mind of my heart sliced in cross section and presented to me in someone's hands. And it was like this mummified, decaying, horrible thing. <laughs> The psychologist would have a, a field day with this, I'm sure. Um, but it was very striking to me because I had the sense that the person who was holding it wasn't judging me. That um, 
they were they were bringing healing to that heart um and just waiting for me to either accept that or reject it mm -hmm.